13. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the molar solubility of each of the following from its solubility product. And then we have this compound right here. So we have to find the molar solubility of KHC4H4O6 from its solubility product. And remember, a solubility product is just a KSP. So I went in the back of the textbook to find out what the KSP of H of a KHC4O4O6 is. But what's a KSP without a balanced equation? It's nothing, so we got to write the balanced equation. If we're dealing with KSPs, that means that this compound is very, very, very slightly soluble and only a little bit will break up into its ions, meaning that this will always start as a solid. So we have K, H, C4, H4, O, 6, and that's a solid. And this will come to equilibrium because we're talking about K values. And we just have to know where the break is. Well, the break would be between the metal and then the non-metal acid, right? So it's between the K and then the rest of the other stuff. So we have K plus the H C4 H4 O6. Now we need to have charges in the upper right hand corner. Well, K, potassium is in group one, right? And group one metals are always a plus one charge. And if I only had one K and one of these, and if this is a plus charge, plus one, this whole thing has to be a minus one to balance it out, right? Because the overall charge of the compound was zero. There was no charge in the upper right hand corner. And since we have charges now, we know that that's going to be aqueous. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here for now. But now we're going to basically use this equation. And by the way, it is balanced, right? There was one potassium, one potassium, one of these big blobs with one of these big blobs. Whoopsie. A little too far back. So we're going to use the balanced equation to write out the general KSP formula for this equation. Remember, the general KSP formula is this right here, right? It's just the concentration of the products raised to the coefficients. We don't care about the reactants because the reactants are always going to be solids uh, starting off when you have a KSP. And solids are not allowed in the KSP formula. So in this case, we have KSP equals the concentration of the K plus 1 times the concentration of the HC4, H4, O6, minus 1. And just be careful, we have to raise them to the coefficients. But in this case, I had only one potassium and one of the other things because there was no coefficient in front, right? So we could put raised to the first for both, but anything raised to the first is itself. Now, we know the KSP value. The KSP is 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. But the thing is, do we know what these concentrations are? Well, not at the moment. That's why we're going to put them as a variable. That's when we go back to the balanced equation. And you label your variable. We love to use x. So I'm just going to put x, right? And it just has to match with the coefficient. But since this one is just a 1, it would be 1x. But 1 times x is just x. And since it's a 1 to 1 relationship, right, whatever this variable is, this one has to be the same. And it would still be, you know, 1x, but that's the same as x. So we're going to use these two to plug in for our uh, concentrations and solve. So let's go for it. 3 times 10 to the negative fourth equals, we have x times x, but x times x, I have two x's, so I could just say that this is x squared. Solve for x, I'm going to take the square root, that's the inverse of squaring, and the 2 cancels out. And now we just have x equal to, calc's out. This is great. You only got to do one piece of math here. 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And 
I don't know, maybe I'll give two sig figs, right? 0 0.017. And this is in molarity. Now, whenever they ask for the molar solubility, just know that the molar solubility is always of the beginning compound. They want to know what that molar solubility of KHC4H4O6 uh, is, not the ions. But just know that for every KSP equation, you're always going to have one of your um, initial compound. So it's basically treating this as like a 1x. So the x answer that you always get is always going to be the molar solubility. So in this case, we have 0 0.017 molarity of uh, KC4H4O6. And that is the final answer, everyone. Whoop, whoop. What'd you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will be helping you in further lessons. Okay, bye-bye.